Artus Pluski. Albania in the eyes of Polish travelers of the 6th century. The 19th century in European culture is a time of the great interest of the past, finding the roots of their own people, but also finding what unites Europe culturally. Traveling and collecting of any relics was an important element of life for many people, who formed the basis of modern science. Many of their theories evoke smile today, even if we still cannot clearly give a scientific explanation. These theories often corresponded to the political or social needs, or as far as the linguistics, were the product of common sense or folk etymology. Alexander Jablonowski, 1829-1919, Polish traveler and ethnographer, during his journey through the Balkans, he was also in the Albanian areas. His information about the Albanians and their culture, physical characteristics, religions is one of the first in the Polish ethnography and linguistics. His memoirs called Albania. Memoirs and essays have been written in Prewaza and published in the Polish journal Ateneum in 1879. He described the Albanians as a simple people, smiling, full of joy of life, but also very brave. Albanians were for Jablonowski a big surprise, the latest discovery of modern Europe, unknown people who lived in isolation for 2,000 years, preserving the old legends, customs and language. His description of the Albanians, but also of other Balkan peoples, alikes the typical description of the other foreign as in Jean Jacques Rousseau works. Albanians therefore are raised by nature, they live according to its cycles. In contrast to savage character in the European Enlightenment and Romanticism Albanians are a nation of great cultural traditions which are forgotten by Europe. Jablonowski assumes that by learning about the Albanian culture once will learn the ancient past. The Albanian language was to him what was for Indo-European studies Sanskrit and Lithuanian, treasure of knowledge about the life of ancient Europeans and beginning of their intellectual and material culture. Classical education, of course, gave knowledge, much better than today, that the Greeks were later rivals in the Balkans. Before the Millerians and Pelasgians lived here. It was therefore likely that many elements of social culture and unclear Greek words are autochthonous and inherited. If Pelasgians were artist Pluski, able to pass the word to the Greeks, they could also pass the elements of their own religion. The Pelasgians, enigmatic and lost people, were and still are an important key to the history of the Balkans. Lost or maybe not. In the 19th century, when modern European nations formed, an important foundation for their identity was historical or mythical ancestor. When Jablonowski was in Albania, important texts for the Albanian national ideology are printed. Polish researcher had certainly known Norm Vekilharksi, Pashko Vesa and Abdil Frashery publications about the relationship between Pelasgians and modern Albanians. National myth that was needed for Albanians to show their national roots was also directed against the theories of the cultural domination of Greece. Polish science in the 19th century was not particularly interested in the Greek struggle for an independent state. Interest of the Poles, who were themselves subordinate nation, were closer to Turkey and the small Balkan nations. This is probably the way to explication why so easy accepted Jablonowski the Pelasgian theory. I'd like to focus my presentation only on Pelasgian roots of the names of Greek gods. Most of those have elements of Pelasgian language which one can find also in modern Albanian or only in one of the dialects. 